Hello, I'm Stuart from Shropshire Wildlife Trust and I'm just going to spend a bit of time today talking about camera traps because I know lots of people are buying camera traps now. Uh, there's a whole range of them out on the market and because of that I think it's quite useful for me just to give a bit of an example of how I've been using camera traps to record the things like pine martins, badgers, stoats, weasels and deer. So the first camera trap that I should mention is this. Uh, this is the trusty Bushnell Essential E3. Uh, these are available for about £150. And they're, they're pretty useful bits of kit. I've had quite a lot of success with these so far. One of the other camera traps that I'm really keen to uh, promote at the moment is the, the Browning Recon Force Advantage. And these things are really useful bits of kit. They've got really good infrared uh, level control so we don't end up with really overexposed bits of camera trap footage. Now when I'm setting these things up, what I'm trying to do is set them up quite low to the ground. So rather than having them nice and high, um, which would be looking down on a subject, if you think some of these animals, th things like polecats, uh, are only that high off the ground. So it's better to get footage of them as low down to the ground as possible where possible. Now the next step, once you've got the camera trap set up, looking at a suitable clear spot, uh, you can see there's no vegetation that's high that's going to wave around in the wind uh, and possibly trigger off uh, the, the camera traps very often and fill up the SD card. So what we want to do is make sure we've got a nice clear area like we've got here. And all I'm doing, I want to try and attract animals into the camera trap area because of course woodland animals could be passing anywhere through here. We want to try and get them in front of the camera trap. And all I'm using here is a bit of cod liver oil mixed with some organic sugar-free peanut butter. And this is just enough on the top of a stick like that, just to leave a, a scent out or a lure to attract things in. So we're not necessarily feeding these animals, we're just trying to attract them to the camera traps. As you may have gathered, playing with camera traps can be much more fun than people anticipate. And of course, there's nothing more satisfying than actually having a look back through some of the clips to see what you may have got.